Okay, I'm up on the Eberly's house. Um, it appears they're having a, a leak on their chimney. It's like a really big chimney. Um, the joints, they don't look too terrible. I see a few cracks. Um, on up through there, I see a few cracks. Um, all in all, it's not, it's not a terrible uh, stone chimney. Um, but just looking at this, uh, you know, they've got a, you know, copper counter flashing. Um, and if you look at this counter flashing, you know, it appears to be cut in. Looks like it's got a ledge here. Um, but if you just barely move it, you'll see that there is no spring clip here. Um, it's wet there. Um, there's no spring clip here. There's no spring clip here. Um, when you cut a chimney in, you should always make sure there's a spring clip uh, on your counter. There's not one here. Uh, I would suggest, you know, bending up some more counter uh, and putting it in. They also have uh, what's called Vulcan caulk. It was supposed to be like some kind of super caulk, um, but it's actually turned into uh, you know, something that's not too good when it comes to sticking to copper. Um, I'll go on around through here, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to find the same thing, in which I am. Um, it was basically just laid in there and caulked, and you know, once the caulk turned loose, the uh, the uh, counter flashing just started allowing water in. Um, if you can see right here, there's you know stains from water coming down. Looks like they got the step flashing caulked on this side, um, but right here they've drilled a hole through the uh, step flashing. Over here they've got it bulled. Um, let's see what they got over here. It's all the way around. Looks like this riglet's cut a little bit long, um, and they didn't seal that back up. And water can get in, you know, these these cracks, run through, get under your flashing, and go in. Um, looks like they got some pretty good water stain back there. Um, they probably got something coming in, you know, here. I guarantee this is the same way. I'm not even going to pry this loose because I know what what's going on. Um, you know, it might be a good idea to pry it loose because. I don't know how high this cricket comes up behind this. Um, they've actually nailed through this uh, cricket, through this uh, copper um, to hold it down. Basically what they do is they put a gutter seal on their copper to make it look like it's been uh, soldered. I heard uh, this company, that's one of their main tricks. Um, if you look right here, if you can see, there's actually a hole here. They didn't close that hole up, so that's a leak every time. They also didn't use copper uh, zip screws, which you can see they're rusting. Um, I see a water stain here. Looks like water's getting out there or something. It's probably wet in there. Um, I could recommend probably a caulk job or rebend these to have a spring clip. Hold it in. Uh, but I'll just make a report and we'll go from there.